It's breakfast time. I actually slept eight hours last night. Feel great. Finally over all the prep bullshit. So much stress on my body. Check it out. I was prepping, getting ready, camping, whatever you want to call it, for a um, boxing tournament. Decided to go into bodybuilding because my wife didn't want me getting beat up anymore. And uh, it was just tumultuous. But the only thing that really was affected was my quality of sleep. So we'll talk more about that later. But I feel like a million bucks. It's leg day. I'm ready to rock. It's going to be a good session. Anyway, today we have three eggs. That's going to be flipped over, over hard. And then, of course, we have two of these outright pancakes. I'm keeping it light, keeping it easy um, on the eating because I'm going to have a big O bar on the way to the gym in about 30 minutes. So there we go. Feel great. Sleep is on point. And we'll talk later about why I think it happened. But uh, again, remember these Tiger Day hats. Tiger Game Day hats are available. 13 different varieties. So while I'm doing my... 10 minutes of pre-workout red light on my legs and my lower back. Let me, um, let me talk about why sleep's not such a big deal. So whatever happened, like the prep and all the work, it just somehow threw off my sleep cycle. And no matter how, what I did, you know, taking supplements, whatever, it just wasn't getting better and it just took time. And I think my body needed to get into a better, you know, predicament of hydration and maybe a little more body fat to be able to sleep. And uh, now I'm sleeping sound through the night, going to bed, waking up seven, eight hours later to my alarm or without it. So I'm on point right now. Without sleep, you're not going to function. Without sleep, you're not going to be optimal. You need to sleep. So whatever you do, unless you absolutely must, you know, budget in 69 hours of sleep a night. It's very important. Today was an awesome leg day. So here's what we did, guys. Five supersets of leg extension leg curl. Start with 20 reps of a very lightweight. I only do like three plates, three of those selectorized plates. Work all the way up to the entire stack doing eight to 10 reps or whatever weight you can do. The superset with leg curls, I can't stack this. Same idea though, start out with 20 reps, work your way down five supersets. You go from leg extension to leg curl and that's all you do. And then you move on to either a leg press or a similar equipment. This is a Rogers Squat Pro the greatest leg equipment ever. What I want to emphasize, I want full range of motion. Now you work up from one plate to your max set that you could do six to eight reps for. Then you work down. I call it the gauntlet. Five plates, four plates, three plates, two plates. Boom, you're done. All right, so you want to get that on the draw, on the de decrease sets for as many reps, around five. You're going to be pretty tired. Move on to a hack squat. I do banded. You don't have to. Your gym might not have a hack squat that can do this. What I want you to do is full range of motion, pause at the bottom, and just really focus on starting from a dead stop. I want you to really, really, really activate all the muscles. From there, do another leg press. Now, your gym might have a selectorized one, but I want you to just rep it out. For me, I did three sets of 20 reps, banded. Now, you see there's not much weight on here. There doesn't have to be. There doesn't have to be. It's, you've already done, you've already it. Every single muscle fiber in your legs is worn out. Just get some volume. From there, we threw in some hamstrings. For me, I did single leg curls. Honestly, just do a different hamstring movement than you did the first time. Whether it's standing, whether it's lying down, whether it's seated if you did laying the first time, whether it's dumbbell leg curls, whether you have to do some kind of a Romanian deadlift. At the end of the day, just do something different. At the end, I supersetted actually that movement with hip thrusts. You could do these with a barbell, or if you don't have one of these, I'm even good with goblet squats. I love these. Don't go too heavy. Full range of motion all the way down, contract at the top. Full contraction at the top. That does it for today's workout. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Download the Tiger Fitness app if you don't have it, and every single exercise will be listed for you to do yours. So, pre-workout, I had a big O bar. Now, my calories are 52 to 5,400. I know what I'm eating and measuring food is holding me back because I'm not able to snack. Like there's times I'm like, I just don't feel like writing this shit down. You know, so what I've decided to do, I know how to hit 52, 5,400 calories. It's in my mind. I know the base. So today I'm done using macro trackers for now. Now we'll see how it goes. If I lose weight, that means I'm not getting in enough because I'm going more by intuition but I have an idea of what to do. 
I need to start adding in things like sauces and this and that. And I'm still gonna record every meal I eat, not every snack I eat. In fact, last, last vlog, I didn't record two of the meals because it's just awkward moments to record them. I'll record most of my meals, all my training, thoughts, stuff like that. But as far as tracking macros, I'm at the level now where I need to just fucking eat. So training today, leg day, getting eight hours of sleep. Oh my Lord. I haven't felt that good in a long, long, long time. So I think we're turning over a new leaf. They're going to notice some phenomenal gains this week. I'm finally over the doldrums of prep and boxing prep and camp, whatever else I did in that crazy time. So uh, that's the update. And when I get home, I'll show you what I will. We'll film that meal. All right, guys. Oh, man, that post-workout gain. So we finally have the greatest vanilla protein ever created, vanilla ice cream MTS whey. It's finally back in stock. Man, supply chain, you guys see? They're having toilet paper shortages. Costco's limiting to one fucking roll of toilet paper. Two rolls, two, two packages, which isn't much, but like, dude, like I thought we were over this. That's why I'm happy I got my bidet. Luxbidet.com, coupon code LOWBLINER. I'll link it down below. Spray your asshole clean, bros. Anyway, we're gonna have, for pills, we got fish oil, MTS Nutrition Black Seed Oil, and Ox Bile. That MTS Ox Bile will be out a couple months, hopefully, depending on packaging. Still working on some supplier issues, but we got the perfect supplier. Anyway, almond milk, MTS Whey. This is vanilla, oh, it's just vanilla. I know we got a market, I know there's great flavors, the cookies and cream. This, Bro, sometimes when you just have a good vanilla, it's like when you were a kid, you went and like you'd eat this vanilla soft serve at like McDonald's. Like back in the day, it just tasted better. It just hit differently. And it's kind of like that. Or in and out would have their vanilla shake, like those of y'all from Cali or Vegas or Texas. Um, anyway, banana. So y'all, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll wing it on these macros, dude. We're just gonna wing it, man. I, I, I think it's holding me back from eating enough because I just don't feel like fucking writing it down. I'm at that YOLO level of calories. A lot of you can't do that, man. Like you gotta measure your macros, but man, it's to the point, it's not feasible. And right now for my macro level, it's just not fucking feasible. Mix that in. Couple things I'm gonna do. Number one is Fit Butters, peanut butter jelly, made with that ambrosia planta. Put a couple tablespoons. Eyeball it, eyeball it, right there. That looks that looks about right. All right, boom, spread that on top. Oh, crispity, crunchity. Oh yeah, mm. so good. Mm -hmm. A little bit of Walden Farms, pancake syrup. Mm-hmm, yep, yep. A little bit of whipped cream. Oh. I can't put the lid on. All right, let's 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 do a taste test, right? Gotta get a little of each, a little banana. Oh, mm, mm, mm. If you like vanilla, bro, it's in stock. People who did this were 19 times less likely to be hospitalized from the virus than the national rate. A simple nasal, Neomed sinus rinse. You take this little sinus rinse thing, right? You put it in, here's the saline solution. You use distilled water, it has to be distilled water. Heat up a cup for about 30 seconds, depending on your microwave, just don't burn your nose. Now the first couple times it will go through the back of your throat, be knowledgeable of that. Go over the sink. One side done. Oh, look at the chunks came out right there. So just doing that, we do it every single night, have been doing it for a couple of years, and you will decrease your chance of hospitalization from the virus by 19%. It's inexpensive, it's easy, do it every night, take care of your health, we want you to live long and healthy. Life. So I'm actually really busy today, I got my flexpromeals.com, coupon code LOWBLINER, salmon, right there, got sweet potatoes and some whipped cream on top, a little snacky snack, Get this work done, and uh, man, what a fucking great day so far. Getting a lot done today, man. This this sleep thing is awesome. I'm gonna have an outright bar. I'm gonna try to eat as many of these as possible. Easy calories, love them, delicious, back to work.
I coach a ton of people at marklobliner.com. That's my coaching site. So one thing I'm going to do is the clients who get phenomenal gains, who meet all their macros, hit all their training, and just work their butt off, one client per month or more, at least one, I will fly out to Tennessee for two days so we can train together, eat together, and personally work together on getting your best body ever. Now, it's only for my clients. So if you are currently a client of mine, this starts today. We'll have somebody fly out in the month of November. Actually, just trained with a client today, Scott. It was amazing. I loved it. He got a lot out of it, and now he knows what intensity is. Talked about diet, all that good stuff. So if you are not a client of mine, want to know about my coaching, go to marklobliner.com, sign up and know that no matter where you live, once a month, I will choose a client to fly out here and we'll make some gains together. MarkLowbliner.com. All right, y'all. So I don't have to try this. Fit Butters has regular flavored peanut butter. It's delicious. It actually uses da -da -da -da, unflavored planta. So here it is right here. Banana, banana, peanut butter, cookies, and cream. All right, finally getting out, taking Preston to his soccer practice. Can take ruckus on a walk, dog park. Got my almond butter chocolate. All right, Bart, we're off. What do you have? What flavor you got? Uh, cookies and cream. There we go. We off the prep. So while I'm not doing cardio, I do take all the time I can during soccer practice to enjoy the fresh air. And why I moved to Tennessee? I'll never be bulking hard enough to not enjoy walking my dog, looking at a river, looking at trees. This is why I moved here. This is why I love it. Fresh air. This is what keeps me healthy. This is why I can get over the virus in literally less than a day. This is why I didn't even have symptoms barely. I was just a little bit tired. I thought I was sore from training. Turns out I had the uh, C word and uh, yeah, got an IV drip. I was fine in two hours. Why? Because I take care of myself. Y'all need to take care of yourself. It's not just about looking good. It's about being your best. It's about being, well, not quite, you turn immortal. Yeah, immortal. You know, if you work hard, if you exercise, if you eat right, if you get sunlight, if you have a positive mindset, spirituality, if you take care of yourself, you have a, you're gonna be in a good spot. So while you might die of something, your chance of dying are much lower. I like hedging my bets. And anyway, what a better way to clear my mind than with this beautiful walk. Eight of, and uh, about keeping my calories up. Hold on, hold on, let me get it. It's buried in my keys. About keeping my calories up. What if you do cardio and eat outright bars while walking? That's what I'm talking about. So you can always out eat cardio. For me, it's hard, but you know what? What good's being on stage if I'm unhealthy? I can't be on stage if I'm sick. So, we're all about health and wellness here, baby. Health and wellness. So even if you're bulking and there's no cardio on your program, if you have the opportunity to go for a nice, beautiful walk outside, add some more calories, you know, balance out that energy deficit. But by all means, don't avoid enjoying fresh air and exercise ever. So it's bulking season, flex pro meals. This is the Mojo Pork and Plantains. 86 carbs, 40 protein, 13 fat, 642 calories. Flex Pro Meals has everything I need. Coupon code LOBLINER. I've never tried this shit, but I'm going to try it right now because I'm going to order more. I'm ordering more tonight. I want to know if I'm ordering more of this. I'm ordering more. I'm ordering more. Okay, so we got this Flex Pro Meal. It looks delicious. Now, this is the pork. Oh, wow. That is a unique taste. What's it called again? Moho pork and Mojo. plantains. Mojo. I think it's moho. <laughs> anyway, here's the plantains. So I'm, I think this is what you're meant to do. You're supposed to take a piece of the plantain, put it with the mojo. Oh, wow. Are plantains sweet? It, it's like a... It's like a banana. It's like a banana with a Hispanic accent. Oh man. I can't quite. 
It tastes almost like a cross between a pulled pork sandwich and bacon. Low fat. The spices, 86 grams of carbs. How many? 86. Isn't that like one a day? Yeah. No, uh, no you, you get more. But the, the spices on this, I mean, this is restaurant quality shit right here. Wow. Look at that. Like, you don't expect this to be in a plastic container the way it tastes. Okay, do you want to take a bite? Me? Yeah, come here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you a, so just be sure, I'm gonna put you in selfie mode, so I'm gonna give you a little bit of plantain. I see that. Well, yeah, that's how you vlog, it's a vlog. I'm gonna give you this. Take it. It's such a delicious, like, you wanna try it? It's really good. Yeah. I'm gonna give you a plantain. Just get the edge though, because it was a little warmer, right? You can eat the whole thing, you got a big mouth. Sweet, yeah, it is sweet. Can you take that big bite? Mm -hmm. Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. That is. You like that, bud? You want to see some more of that one? That's, mm -hmm. that's bulking meal. I could eat this multiple times a day. I like that. This is. This does not taste like it should be in a, a microwave yeah, meal. It's really good. Wow. Uh, let's let's get dinner up to about nine hundred calories. We can have the salary bar here. I've been behind on calories. I've been really busy. I don't want to lose weight. So I'm going to eat this bedtime snack. I I'm going to eat till I'm hungry, till I'm not hungry. So um, eat this, get some work done, trash night, sauna action. And then um, I'm going to hopefully have another great night of sleep. Okay, so I don't know how much I'm going to eat tonight. Whatever my appetite will hold. I ate that Flex Pro meal, which filled me up in an outright bar. Had two outright bars at Preston's practice. Got this two scoop MTS brownie. Gonna top it with a couple tablespoons of this Fit Butters, crunchy peanut butter jelly, planta based Fit Butters. Um, and then we'll see if I can fit more food. But other than that, hopefully I get another eight hours of sleep tonight. Love y'all. Have a great fucking night. And um, I wanna say this in life, you're gonna have to make tough decisions. And they're, they're usually for the good of everybody around you, but they're going to be tough decisions and that's what leaders have to do and it sucks. And a lot of times we get into situations in the world, in our personal lives, even in team sports, when leaders don't do stuff that leaders should do. And I want to encourage you that sometimes even though it might be a hard decision or a hard move to make, that you have to be a leader, you have to step up. And especially in these times when people are being tyrants and running all over people's freedoms and rights, there has to be a line in the sand and there has to be a time when leaders stand up and say, you know what? We have to take, make some leadership decisions. So with that being said, have a good night. When people ask me what the most important supplement they can take is, I actually send them a link to a stack. It's called the immunity stack. At the end of the day, there's viruses floating around all over the place. We're all gonna get exposed to them. The key is not letting them replicate. Here is the stack that I recommend to prevent viral replication. Number one, your base, Immortal, the greatest multivitamin pack ever created. Put this as number one. Number two, quercetin, okay, quercetin, is amazing in that it's ionophore. It allows other antiviral supplements to be able to permeate the cell and prevent viral replication. Then you got vitamin C, pretty easy one there, prevents viral replication. Then you got vitamin D3, which has been shown to improve health and immunity across many populations. And a lot of people are very deficient in vitamin D. And before bed, take ZMA, because ZMA contains your zinc, which is also antiviral replication. It's the immunity stack available on tigerfitness.com for an amazing price. Get it now.